This is this would be new. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. Ain't that the truth? I need to find the ring. Oh, where'd you find that coat? Yes. Warren, can you hear me? Please tell me he's the first one dead. No, he's still alive. Oh my gosh. Never mind. The power of the friend zone has shielded him from the storm. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he did take him when he was drunk. But I've seen some pretty bad drunk selfies. I'm getting a sandwich. I'm on my way. I need you to save the world. That's okay. Yeah, of course Warren's scared, fucking baby. But it's not over I'm yet. scared, Max, help me. So hold on. No, not wait. Again, we have... Look, I think Max actually does have a pair of balls, but they're actually Warren's, and Warren has none. Because literally that's how it is at this point. Okay, so, okay, all right, genius. How are you going to drive a car? Don't tell me this has been, like, this is a flipping car-driving ex machina. If I've been car driving X Machina, she can drive a car. Okay, cool. That's new. No indication that she could drive a car before this. And the hipster music's back, of course. Maybe she's listening to that on the radio. Ah, actually, it is Jefferson, to be fair. Jefferson would listen to hipster music. He's having hipster beard and his hipster glasses and his hipster fetish, I guess. Photo fetish. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody's getting the hell out of here now. Now, God damn it, how do I pay all this <laughs> That's kind of funny. This is so like weird. You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. Hey, hey, Nathan. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Well, you're dead now, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't excuse your fucking pompous dumb attitude. This guy's suffering from like everyone sucks but me syndrome. Everyone sucks, but it's not my fault. Well, he did warn her. He's a bit late, but. So the summary of this game is everyone's a good guy, but like external things make them bad. Victoria just wants to be liked. Nathan was used by Jefferson. I will say there are some pretty method actors in that case. Considering, you know, they never held up once. Oh my gosh. We're actually getting some pretty decent music. Holy crap. Well, yeah, it's, well, it's better than some of the music we've heard so far. Oh my gosh, it's The Last of Us. Sarah, just stay calm. Okay, it'll be all over soon. Well, it's a no drive zone here. I get to the two wheels. I changed my mind. I want some flipping. What was it? Like, bacon and eggs or something? Was the other choice I could have had? Bacon omelette! That was it. I want the bacon omelette. Is this storm only affecting Arcadia Bay? Is it, ha is it affecting like nobody else? What the heck? ACFC? Hey, it's the trucker! I'll help you! Remember me? What about the homeless woman that looked like Flippin' the girl from The Walking Dead? Is she still alive? What? I can't hear you, the winds are so strong. No thanks. I have to find Fred. You go, girl. You go. Dead body. I'll save you. Death is everywhere. Rewind time. So that she can save her life. Whoa! Okay, I couldn't even see myself there. Whoops. Whoa. Whoa, 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 wait, where'd I come from? Over here, run. 
teleport. <laughs> you owned. Is Alyssa here? I hope Alyssa gets to have a hip of like a log or something. I have to stop him from getting hurt. Evan. Oh yeah, Evan. I, I've known you for so long. Help him. Evan, do you see that tornado? Get the hell out stop talking to him. Max, Push him out of the way. Pass up these images. Just look at it. He's destined to die. Push him. Push him. Stop talking. Push him. There you go. Sheesh. Yeah, I doubt this is gonna blow over. Come with me. I can't. Come with me, I almost died, but hey, maybe you're safe with me. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that guy with like my flipping shoes, let alone myself. Entrance. Oh, is this the two wheels? No, no, I didn't think it was. Two wheels on the other side, right? How can I get out of here? Oh, forget that, there's some flipping porno magazines down here, holy crap. End of the world can wait. We can make it out of this groin. Shakespeare in the woods. Nathan Prescott stars in his first film. Uh, fuse box. Open sesame. This isn't all gonna work. Come on, surely. Oh, it does. That's convenient. No! <laughs> The <laughs> Sorry, okay, I know, I know the animation budget for this game isn't that good, but that was probably the funniest death I've ever seen. Look at that! The guy, the guy like, moved hardly anything. Oh, whoops. I didn't rewind fast enough. Or far enough, sorry. Oh, that was hilarious. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear Well, you could try. There is a, you know, the window is broken after all. You could probably yell through that, but... Sprinkler... Right, so how do, okay, so what, we gotta like slam something or whatever to get him to move? Flyer. What does the flyer say? Arcadia Bay Softball League. This makes me so sad. Everybody plays, but everybody dies. Could just walk through the fire? Damn. Oh, no. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. I think we should throw something at him. What, what's even here that we can throw or whatever? Look. I think he should, he should no, still yell. He should still yell at him or something. Throw, throw your shoes at him. Anything over here we can use? Anything at all? Anything at all? I don't think so. There is nothing here to throw. Or oh, forget it. You're, you can die. I don't even like you anyway. Can we not like go in there and like? I don't know. Manipulate something in here? Anything? Oh no. Oh no. I forgot to stare at him for a little bit. You could have you could have yelled that guy. That, I'm gonna i I'm gonna leave that guy dead just so I can teach Max a lesson that you could have saved that guy by yelling at him or throwing a shoe at him or slamming a shelf. I don't know how you would have saved him, but it probably is something that easy. So, wheels are pretty big now, huh? There's a wheel. Oh, no! Gasoline! No! No! <laughs> oh my gosh! Hmm, should I rewind time? No! Oh god, guys, let me think about this, okay? I could not rewind time and Warren will, will die in an explosion! Oh my gosh, do I have to rewind time? Okay, yeah, Joyce will die as well. I have to stop oh that my gosh, I... Screw you, Warren, you better... You better, like, not listen. You better, like, not flip and talk to me ever again after I save your life. It's a convenient shovel. Yes. That was dangerous. You were, you were dangerous to close that explosion, jeez. To be fair, you did have, like, stuff land on you and you can't dive, so... That works too. There's a wheel. Look at that. This tornado might be the end of the world. What does the newspaper say? The monsters are actually the people here. What the heck? 
Oh, it's like the Halloween stuff. It's so appropriate because it is around to be Halloween. Uh, yeah, the homeless spot is kind of wrecked. Once she's alive, we did we did tell her about the future, so. She's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. You didn't even ask for your name. You shame on you. I thought he would have barricaded the door or something, just so that, you know, nobody could just sneak in. At least nobody's going to starve in here. Well, the tornado is probably going to, like, rip everyone, rip, rip three everyone, but... Trust me. I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. Yep. Newspaper. Go get him, Juliet. Blackwell, bullying! Oh, Juliet Watson? Oh, no. Arcadia Bay Beacon? Is that, like, the student newspaper, maybe? Huh. Not bad. Credit where it is due, I guess. You know, don't bully people because if you do, you're mean. Oh, jeez, here he is. Oh, look, it's oh, look, it's Frank. Oh, he's alive. I mean, the gunshot didn't really help him. Don't hug, don't hug, don't hug. Okay, uh, Joyce, you can hug me. Yes, we have history. Warren, don't even think about it. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I really hope Brooke's still alive. Isn't that her name, Brooke? Fleming, his potential girlfriend. Or Officer Barry and all those people I know. I hope she's still alive so that he doesn't have to bother us again. This gentleman on the ground. Warren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce. But it's all we have. How do you know Joyce? I thought you didn't know who Chloe was. I'm okay, Warren. You said like that blue haired chick. How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? Snow. The snow? The eclipse. The eclipse? There's nothing you also, can do. Also, shout outs to Warren for wearing the so dumbest shirt if you're going to die. Should have seen it coming. Like, oh no, the world's gonna end today. Quick, better wear my flipping chicken sunglasses t-shirt. Yeah, at least Frank's still here. Sorry. Hey Frank, do you remember me? Okay, Max. Oh, I'm assuming Joyce doesn't know about flipping Chloe, so let's not tell her yet. Unless she asks. I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a dining <laughs> and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet you and Chloe didn't find Rachel. No, Rachel's right. dead, huh? What do you think about that? Rachel's dead. Frank. Oh, oh I would have been more blunt. I wouldn't have been like, I don't know how, I don't to, know say how to say this. So no, just say. I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way, she left town. She's gone. No, she's dead. How do you know, huh? We saw the body, you idiot. All of our clues led us to my professor. Oh. Mark Jefferson. We're gonna tell him the whole story. He had this creepy. Apparently he knows Frank, so and you know, that works. And I promise I won't call him Francis Scott this video. Because that was like Michael my biggest Scott. thing in Fifth and Episode 4. Fuck! Fuck! I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Papadou hated him. Dogs know better than us. You saw, you saw Rachel. Yes. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he killed her. But he, but he was only a method actor. He didn't actually want to. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose. The only way Nathan could he didn't actually want to. Is That's the good thing, though. If I sold it to him, oh, damn. I killed my lioness. Okay, no. yeah, let's not say no. over no. overdose. Where is this motherfucker, Jefferson? Uh, dead. He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Hey, at least that works. Rachel. Oh, God. She Look on the bright side. Everyone's gonna get flipping. Everyone's gonna blow up in this diner or something. Everyone has done it was gonna blow up as well until I saved everyone. I expect no credit for that. It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. I know. I know, Frank. She I know. I almost call him Francis again. I know I'm gonna call him Francis, I just know it, so I'm gonna preface right now. If I say Francis, I actually mean Frank. But uh Come on, look at him. I see why Rachel he's had that he's had that flipping leather jacket this whole time. Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. 
In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Oh, shucks. Wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. I'm a cool weird. Okay, thanks. I was, I was, I was gonna rewind time and say, yeah, we're not an overdose, but we don't know. But uh, I'll just let him know everything. I'm just gonna be really truthful. It's the end of the world. I might as well just tell the truth on everyone. No more hipster music, thank heavens. Yay, dog's still alive. Can I, can I, can I do anything with it? There we go. Finally. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. Look at that. Loyal to the end. Better than boyfriends. Oh, menu again. To believe people were eating breakfast here only a few hours ago. So then cockroaches messing up jukeboxes and all that crap. All right, so there are four. Jeez, let's speak to this fool. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. T good, and I, and I hate to say it to you, Warren. Don't worry. That's okay. That goes both ways. The important thing is that you're safe, and I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. Yeah, well, guess what? He's dead. But damn, Max. And you beat him to a pulp before he did. Down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one I don't blame myself for that. He shouldn't have been so flippin' Shakespearean and, and flippin' oh, angry and, oh, I hit you all, I can carry guns everywhere. Like, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be excused because, oh, I was just trying to impress a teacher. You're endangering the lives of everyone. And you killed Chloe in the first episode as well. Had I not rewind the time. I wish I would have. So, so I'm just yeah. going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? Oh boy. I always do. You should probably tell me quick. Yeah, before this diner blows I had up a again. In Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. Will you believe you know? Because the, the tornado is already happening. And saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. Yep. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then <sighs> I found out that I could rewind time. Why are we telling him all this? Long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane. Can you just say, can I look at the photo and oh, avoid all this exposition? All? I started. No, no, he didn't. He killed. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll say it. Hopefully, yeah, Joyce doesn't hear us. Time. Jefferson already ki killed Chloe. Joyce just like stands up. Wait, what? I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. Oh, because. But the storm started no. at the very beginning. The storm came before the time travel, I'm not surely. A scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos. Theory. Can someone explain this to me? Finally. What happened with Jefferson? Oh, he won't. Did, did he hurt you? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, that's not hitting with like too much information. You know, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. He's dead. She's dead. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and. Took sick photos of me. Are so these photos funny. available? You know, because I've run out of my porno Max, magazines and my flipping my broom so handle with your face on it is starting to decay. So uh, you're the bravest person I've ever known. Damn straight. You know, I want to kill that son of a. Guess bitch. what? He's already dead. David beat you to it. Where is he? Dead. History. Flipping heck, David killing that guy was like the best thing that's happened so far. Because everyone else is gonna kill him. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. G, you think? Even in the environment. Move time, more time together. You believe me? This is my fault. You believe me? You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody. But then, why does that affect only some? So it affects the environment. But it doesn't affect smaller things, right like, you know, after been five year you know, time jump, ass, didn't affect anything. And you've always treated me like a person. Apart from, you know, not apart from, you know, the dad, the dad being killed. I told you before that I'll always we said the different thing to I Chloe. I just wish I could trust my powers. I don't know. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. This game's like, Even if it's from a wizard or a wild, this game, I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain more whenever it ends, and if it answers my questions, then I won't bring it up again, but, destiny, but let's see what happens. After this week, I'll hold my thoughts until then. I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us warrant. I do know you're here for a reason. And Oh no. I guess it's up to you to find out why. We gotta procreate. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. 
I'm so proud of you, Max. Oh, don't touch me. How could there be more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. Oh dear. Why is so the camera zooming on his face? Me. Please, no. Thanks for being here. Please. Always. Please. Okay, okay, there we go. Good. Give me the photo and that's it. Don't you dare touch me again. Okay, right, before we do this, alright, let's sit down because that's some that's the only thing we haven't done yet. Do you think this is I always don't want to talk to Joyce because Joyce will almost certainly bring up uh hey, so was Chloe alive? I guess it could rewind time. I might as well do it. Why not? Yay, Pompadou likes us. Give yourself one moment to do nothing. This is pretty dangerous. Actually, no, if you can rewind, if you don't die ever, then if, you know, say if the diner does blow up, you can probably just rewind time just to like the millisecond before the explosion and then just not happen. And it just not happen. Kind of like what happens whenever the tree hits on you or the flipping pole it did earlier in this episode. Yeah. So I guess you do have time to sit down. In conclusion. The thing is though, every single time you've teleported into a photo, every single time you've teleported into a photo, you had to go back, or you had to go back to this current reality. So what makes you think that by jumping into this photograph, you're not just going to get jumped back into this, you know, doomsday reality? You know, because this is reality. There's no photo hopping or anything involved in this one. You know, does that make sense to anyone, to everyone? It just, it just if you jump into that photograph and change the course of history, you're going to be jumped into, like, you know, an alternate timeline. And as we've seen so far, alternate timelines don't exactly go very well. And maybe this one will, though. So far, we're, like, flipping 0 and 3 or whatever. Okay, for the flipping 20th time. Oh, as you know, well, sorry, we've got to talk to Joyce first. Also, that homeless girl is, like, nowhere to be seen. Joyce. As long as I have... Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and Might as well let everyone have their peace. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Oh, oh, okay. We have to lie. I'll find her. I, I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe... And David. Well, David is literally underground in like a security Sorry, bunker, so I think he's gonna be safe. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. I don't know. Warren would beg to differ. I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show. Perfect start. Let's make the pun. Why not? We're I not mean, even going to be in this timeline anymore. I just feel like everything that's going on with us is the perfect. Is she going to bring up the pun? I just want our lives. No pun intended. Nothing. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me trying to keep my family together again. Joyce, you've gone through so much for Chloe and David. If you were my mom. So yeah, I just realized we haven't really heard much about Max's parents. Like, are they in danger? Is the storm, like I said, is the storm exclusively to Arcadia Bay? Even David told me how tough. Cause I'd be pretty worried about my parents if this was like a huge West Coast storm. He's a real hero. David is a real hero. I don't know what he's gone through in the. I probably should have said he needs you, cause that would make her a bit more flattered. And he even showed me how to find my own strength under extreme conditions. I'm so glad to hear you say that, Max. Well, she's I'm glad to hear me say that, so I guess that works too. Most people only see him at his worst. You've seen him at his best. And that's the man I want in my life. Is the voice? Is the lip singing slightly better in this episode? I don't know which one, whenever Joyce was talking, it seemed a little bit better. Okay, what will be the homeless guy? Over here. On the people here. Can we speak to him? No. Damn it. Just about the drive to Look. Los Angeles too. Good job, Warren. Oh, oh Frank's comment there about flipping driving to Los Angeles makes me think that this storm is only for Arcadia Bay, so that explains that. Okay, for the freaking like third time, or fourth time, or whatever. 
Get the heck out of here, Warren. I'm done. Watch out for Joyce. And I'm not Mike. having any of that. No chance of my hugging. Actually, no. I want to see if I hug him. Is he going to lean in for a kiss? Because if he don't, no, I want to rewind time. I want to see what happens if we hug him. I actually, I actually do want to. I'm actually, I'm pretty curious. Yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on. let me see what happens if we hug him. If he leans in for a kiss, I'm going to punch my monitor. Alright. I'm absolutely not going to hug him, but... Yay! Oh, boy. Oh, I'm actually, like... Could you serve? I am. I'm actually gonna like, cover my eyes with this. <laughs> this is so awkward. Okay. So far, so friendly. Twist his neck. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And with that line, we're absolutely rewinding I'm time. I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. But like again, does it even matter? I swear. Like if we re if we go into another timeline, if we go into another timeline, then there's no point. All right, nope, screw it, forget it. We're not even gonna hug this guy. Yeah, if we're going into another timeline, then what's what's what use is it that whether we hug him or not? Because it's not gonna matter, right? Leave. Get out of here, Warren. Watch out. I'm, hey, at least he didn't lean in for a kiss. I was going to be mortified if we did. I would have like rewind the entire game. Oh. If I have to focus in on this fool. Hey, this looks perfect, right? This. Oh, flip, I almost had it. First time. Have you been drinking? Yeah, there we go. Flip like the dumb war and fool is the first one to focus. Like I gotta do it in the quickest time. Yeah, we got a party again. Come on, Max. Hey, Chloe. Chloe. Hey, look, you just changed the course of history again. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. Yeah, get out of here, Warren. Glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right yeah, now. Yeah, Nathan's dead. Sorry, Warren. Sorry, Warren, Let's what? Go. Now, Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Well, she does believe our time travel parts, no, so I mean, this should work. Go in that party. You're going to, you're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? Yep. And you fucked around with time, and I died. Yes. Not like that. Well, well, I didn't cause you to die. You're supposed to back me up. But <gasps> there's no way, <gasps> punk ass bitch. But that's what we're doing. Me down. We are flipping, having your back. That's why we went back in time. That's why we didn't what stay in the flipping you're dead universe. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher. That's bullshit. Nathan is the Why don't you believe the person that has the time traveling powers, you idiot? Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you not gonna believe me? Nathan's dead. How do you think about that? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know? Uh, oh jeez, because I re because, because I rewind time? I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson killed him, Jefferson hurt me, Jefferson's a psychopath. Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan. Nathan kills Rachel. Killed him. He kills Nathan. It's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. But I already Holy oh for crap! I already traveled through time. If I'm told why would you? This is so dumb. She'll listen. I'm perfect. Oh my gosh! This is so, this is so dumb. I, look, why don't you believe the person like that traveled through time and saw it? Okay, I know you're irrationally angry. But like, all right, let's do too dangerous this time. Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. But, yeah, oh my gosh. Matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel, and I know you've got my back. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, Nathan's already dead. She just won't listen. This is so. This is stupid. Why won't she believe the person with time traveling powers? Because I was there. I saw it all happen. I don't believe you. I don't think. I actually think that you're wrong. I still want to get him. All right. Okay. Let's do. Psychopath. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. I could probably work. Don't leave me. Actually, uh, yeah, yes, that works. Chloe, I should never have run away from you like I well, did. You did. Well, no, you just kind of got lost in a party. You didn't run away from her. Oh, well, no, she ran away from us, All even. I Wait, what? Was she was one that sprinted us. ahead. Please don't run away from me. Oh, there you go. That works. Max, I'm not running from you. 
This is what I need well, good. This is stick side by side, and then if Stop Jefferson tries to kidnap us, we can overcome. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over. Well, the world's gonna end, so I mean everything's gonna be no broken gonna <laughs> tomorrow. I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? Yes. What do you mean, Max? Oh yeah, we didn't even tell her about the flipping realities. I effed up. I effed up. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Back in time. I, I was able to go back in time. Well, you well, it, it kind of happened by accident, didn't it? You just kind of stared at a photo and then, whoosh, it just all of a sudden happened. But, but you ended up in a car crash instead. And I killed you in that so universe for no reason. You... Oh no, I didn't, sorry. Oh, I wanted to, but I couldn't go back in time. And you, you were in pain, you were slowly dying, and you, you asked me to end your life. But it's an alternate reality, so it shouldn't really matter. There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline to see you again. And to stop you from dying again for the fourth to. time. God, Max. Is it four times? Three times? That must have been. That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. So I now do you believe me? No idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything. Well, now that you have a heartfelt story, now I'll believe you and your warnings. I never want to hurt you. How funny it would be if I was, this is all like lies. Like Chloe, you. like Chloe's just like, nah, I, I don't believe you. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's Everybody's right. like welling up. There's no actual tears coming down. So we can stay together. It's all like you know. Stay alive. The 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 the, the bottom stay half of their stay. eyes are like getting liquidy, and that's it. Get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him, right? Is that why you stuck up for him? Because you think he can help us, really? Well, he did. He did kill Jefferson. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right yeah, now. Yeah, she would be dead. Max, I had no clue. I Is she gonna apologize again? You, I'm so grateful. How many times is she apologizing now? So what's your plan? We tell him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Where even is David at the okay. moment? Can't even remember. You've been there so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Damn. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Is he gonna believe that though? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Okay, so, jeez, this is like, oh my gosh, right, this is <laughs> this is this is really like hard to grasp. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, so Chloe's not dead, dude. I I totally didn't expect that. I totally wasn't calling it. There we go. Wait, what police did he get? I thought the police were owned by the press. Well, I guess the press guards are dead. They've got more. Nathan's dead. I guess there's no real reason. Wait, what? Hey, it's a storm from earlier. Oh, this is from episode one, right? Oh no, because we're not. We're not on the. Uh, we're not on the. We're not in the. Uh, in the lighthouse. In the lighthouse. Oh, you're alive. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. And it worked. Well, there's a lighthouse. You're with me again. Uh, looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And but we're gonna die. Travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Is that like the fifth apology now? Official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Well, he also saved everyone's. You pretty much were like saving everyone at this rate. Just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're 
It's better than all the fucking superhero ripoffs that we had earlier. Yeah, go in a blaze. Finally, five episodes in, we're getting into the just do whatever you want. Just for the just do whatever you want. Sure, that would work. Maybe like a Hollywood lean in for a kiss or something at this rate. Well, I'm not sure about that. Is that like their attempt at explaining the plot hole between this? Yeah, some reason that we we don't get it. Maybe Rachel was the one that caused the storm. Rachel was always missing in every single timeline. I don't know. I don't know about the the selfie one. You know, the, the, the photo that Max took at the very beginning. Not like the one that she's going to submit to the photo contest. Was she missing then? There's there's Hella. So then, heck, wouldn't be a life is strange episode without the word Hella. Yeah, so we can't stop it. I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Just stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on that. God, look at that. Look at that monster. I will say it's pretty huge for a storm. This could be Rachel's revenge. Are they just like hypothesizing what's happening here at the end? The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Hey, it is just like the first episode. Oh my gosh, you're living in a fucking nightmare. Pieces of time. I, I'm back in class. What the hell? These pieces of time can frame. Hey, look, it's Jefferson again. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. Well, I literally called it. It's as hell. hell. Now, can you give me an example of a So now what? Okay, this is messed up. Am I stuck in a time? I think you might be. So you, so you're never actually gonna die. Unless you like jump into the tornado. Don't freak out. You gotta take the selfie. Don't think. Don't think I've forgotten. The heck is that noise? Oh my goodness! What is that? What's going on? I was wondering who the heck's playing the drums in the fucking art class. Oh my gosh! All the birds, just calm down. It's like fucking Alfred Hitchcock. Nobody's even reacting to you. Look at this. The, what? What the heck is this? Have I totally fucked up time? You're gonna walk outside and it's this gonna be like a Sims sense. 3 glitch where like all of them all like the all like the characters are like have really contorted limbs and like their faces are like flipping twisted. Oh you, you just look at it, okay. Paper ball, they're always looking at everything here. What Not the flip? You You're reading this, that means you're dead, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's kinda of funny. What the heck? I want to die, I want to die, I want to die, I want to die. Oh my gosh, all over Kate's desk. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Oh, this is like another alternate reality where it's probably like the different choices or whatever, maybe? Because yeah, Kate's probably dead in this universe. See, at least some continuity is happening, I guess, where like, not, you've messed up time so much that every timeline's messed up. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just predicting Rachel all this. didn't deserve any of this. Yeah, how is this all happening in like... If we're still on day one, or episode one. Oh, no. oh my gosh, this is so weird. I am legitimately like I see you hella Max confused. Oh, you just Don't spawned out of nowhere. About leaving here until we talk about your entry. At this point I would just punch him and be like, alright, what's gonna happen here? I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? Um. There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Our dog room. My <laughs> I love you, Mr. Jefferson. I've been dreaming of the day when you would find me. Yes. It's pretty hilarious. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Call me Mark. Thanks. We need to play catch up on all the time we've. Shall I strap myself to the chair, or do you want to do it? Since there is nobody left in your life. Oh, that's true. Wait, what? I love you too, Max. Um. Thanks, Mrs. Jefferson. Can't be real. I'm expecting some of the fucking jump scare at this rate. 
Yeah, what's gonna happen out here? Dun 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 dun. Oh jeez, it's like flipping spo spoilers, kind of, but it's kind of like a Bioshock Infinite, isn't it? It kind of is. I just realized that. Yeah. It's kind of like Bioshock. Oh, we have Kate's idea of her own memorial candles. Well, by oh my gosh. I'm so. Uh, that, uh, uh. Okay, I, I I understood how like the last one didn't really make much sense. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of? Oh, you might be you might be in her subconscious actually. You never understood me. Because this sounds this looks like one of those like subconscious things where like this all this stuff that all happens in, like your mind in like some sort of nightmare mind. Thanks to you, Kate. That's not true. I've always been your friend. Oh my gosh, my, my computer has like died. There, my computer was literally running like two frames. No, I'll save you. Where's it gonna lead to now? Oh, the same hallway, nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Door. We just open the first door that we see. Oh, they all lead to the same place, okay. I'm getting like, I am getting like serious Bioshock Infinite vibes here. Oh, it's Frank. This is so weird. I'm assuming, do we head to like our room or something? Or does literally every single door lead to the same place, which is another corridor? Let's go to our room. Yep, pretty much it. I'm gonna check every room and see which one it is. I'm assuming that's probably what you're doing, or does it literally just like, is it literally just keep on opening doors until something happens? Or even come, yeah, we're coming from the white door. Give me back my keys, baby. Give me back my keys. I love my beans. Da -da 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 There's a lot of freaking the doors. Never ends. I, I better find something. Find something. Uh oh. I always I thought it was in our black like, room, but. What about over here? Keys! Two one eight. Is that our room? Two two two. Two one nine is our is that room? Two one one. Two two oh. That's two one eight then. Two one nine two one eight is over here. Yeah, two one eight. There we go. Open sesame. Whoa. While well, you're dressed in Rachel Lambert's clothes and it's right. Oh my gosh. What is happening in this game? Jeez. I mean, I know episode four was pretty crazy in terms of the parallel universes. But this isn't. This is like a whole new episode. Hi, Holm. Is, is the keys back here? Are you busy going into different. No keys this time. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left our video. That was without me. How do you know she just disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a total new life. This is mad. I don't even know what to flip and say. I'm trying to like piece what's happening at the moment. It's really confusing. It's hella confusing. Are they going to explain this kind of stuff, or is it going to be like a flipping Christopher Nolan or like M Night Shyamalan like ending where it doesn't really explain anything, and you kind of have to explain it for yourself, or like an art house film? That's a better way to put it. Okay, I'm assuming you're trying to find some more keys, but because I've checked every single door now. Okay. Like what do we have to wait until like all the dialogues over? Yeah, there's no flipping keys here. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about and Wells. Yeah, what's happening outside? Oh, there's another wheel. Flipping wheels and birds and flipping everything. So where are the keys? Ah, map. Why do we, are we looking at the map now? Dana, TV Lounge, Rachel, and Victoria's Bricks. Who's Tara Garcia? It's a weird name. Tara Garcia? Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? 
I wonder if Rachel has a room around here. Uh, oh wait, maybe I actually missed out. Yeah, who's Tara for then Garcia? There you go, that, that was fucking cryptic, isn't it? Sheesh. You've got to find Rachel Amber's room. Yeah, 224, okay. Gee, this is, this is some weird fucking subconscious here. Anything here? Hey, look, we're at Victoria Chase now. This is the, the DLC. Oh, you gotta find their rooms. Okay, I get it now. Victoria Chase, okay, 221. Holy crap, that was cryptic. 222, 221. Oh, these are all, oh, this is all the like, graffiti and associated with her. So, yeah, this is like the subconscious of like everyone, almost. Well, I don't know about Rachel Lambert's, but like. Okay, my room, I'm guessing. Chuck, 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 chuck. Chuk -a -chuk -a -chuk 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 -chuk. Can we get the heck out of here? Here's all my really dumb selfies. Look at me. I'm so, sorry. I saw that. I I missed. I fucking saw that image there. I, I take crap selfies. That was great. It is pretty much like The Sims. They're speaking in like Simlish. God, me morg. Yeah, shika wa, shabun ya. Yeah, Max, you've really screwed stuff up. Don't mess with time. Time does not mess back. No? No history music this time? There it is! What the heck? Is it the same music? It's nothing. Oh, wait, what? It is the same music! Oh, no. Oh, but it's in reverse. This is so weird. Why are some lockers grey? That didn't happen before. Oh, cool. Are we speaking? Oh, everything's backwards now. What the flip is this? Oh my goodness. There's the dough again from like way back when. Haven't seen that in a while. Maybe that'll explain something. Yes, let's go into the bathroom where it all started. I'm I'm like really, really confused right now. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do the next peep, the entire peep plays backwards. Okay, sorry, I'll stop. Okay, we're no longer in reverse anyway. What are we wearing? Jefferson is coming after me again. No, oh, we gotta like hide again. So it's like a Mia's now. now. You have to die. Oh, he's gonna like look back, isn't he? Please understand, Max. The only place I can be myself is in the dark. Whoa, world. hello. He spawned. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so there's more than one Jefferson, and you can't go through here. You let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Oh, this is so weird. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Whoa. Maybe I'll wake up. You're smart, Max. I thought I could be your professor for life. I'm so confused. Why are there two Jeffersons? Max. No. Oh, I thought I was hit. I was hidden far enough. Oh, can you just stand here and wait until? Oh, this is pretty easy. Rewind. Rewind. Oh, this is easy now. Wait, whoa. All right, turn around. Come on. I wish I could fast forward time now so I can just have and run past him. Peace out. I realize now you'll never be an artist. Have a nice day. Much less. Actually, yeah. If we just, if we just teleport through this, da, 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 da. there is a lot of Jeffersons here. Holy crap. Oh no. Max. Nope. Just stay there for a little while, okay? Please. Here, Max. Yeah, yeah. Now, how are you gonna have How are you gonna get past him now? Max. Yeah, shut up. I can teleport. So you got why? I'm assuming you gotta stand behind this wall and like wait until he kind of turns. No, whoops! Let me do that. I miss those days when we. Oh, Max! Max! Shut up, Jefferson. Right, is he gonna come across this wall or is he gonna come the other side? Other side or this side? Ah, that side. Have a nice day. No, I don't want your flipping your lights, your flashlights. There's all the images of me. This is really weird. It's a Mr. Jefferson flipping. Oh no. Who's that? 
Prince of Wales. Why has he got a beard? Drop the max. Seems like I've been remix. Nope. You're welcome. No! Oh, you gotta go to the other side. I get it now. Sauce. Wait, whoa. Why did, why did the black out there? Hop, 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 hop. This might be a bit tedious. I apologize in advance. Good evening, Blackwell. Good evening, Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Dark room, dark room, dark room. Okay. More. Oh, who's this? It's Warren! Oh, can we beat him up now? I, I really, I wish this was like, Max, I wish I could flip and, Max. I wish I could like, if this was like Metal Gear Solid, I wish I could do like a stealth tech down and flip and twist his neck. Wow, great flip and great looking there. Okay, go, leave, go, turn, turn, thank you. She's a bad influence. Is that David over there? Oh, I'm just gonna sprint ahead and see what see what happens. If I just keep on sprinting. Max. Nope, go away. I can teleport. Max. Nope. Oh, go away. Look at oh, if it didn't phase the oh, that's dumb. It phased the black and you gotta go back here. This is really weird. Oh, it's Fibbin Sam! Come over here, young there he is! You can't escape my My favorite character. What is the Tabanga? I still don't know. Can you turn, please? Turn, thank you. Oh my gosh, it never ends. I'll go away. Oh wow, I can't shoot twice. What? The heck is this? Are we even still? Are we even playing the same for the hipster game anymore? We're playing like for the. We're playing like. Oh my gosh, what are we even playing now? I, don't, I can't even think about what we're playing. Like some sort of stealth maze game. Bottle. Oh yes, kill him. Blood spattered angel. Oh no, bottles. This oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. So Flippin, everyone's trying to find you with a Flippin flashlight, Max. but yet Flippin bottles are the sign of the of a sign of hell. I don't get it. I don't. I, I don't. I don't get your mind. Especially if this is your mind, I really don't get it. I'm oh, sorry. Hey Matt. Hey Matt. Hey Max. Hey Mr. Jefferson. How's it going? To be fair, that's probably not wrong. No! Thank you. No! More bottles! These ones aren't too hard to find. Sit down. Yeah, let's yeah, sit down. Why not? I mean, we're already trapped inside like our brain or something. I don't even know. I think we're trapped inside our brain. Max, sit down. Yeah, okay, what's happening right now? Okay, let's try and like ponder what- I'm not even like commenting anymore, I'm just like speaking randomness. I'm just like, I'm reacting to the game, which I don't really think playthrough should be. I need to like think and have my own thoughts here, because this is really weird. So, I thought that like once we were with Chloe at the very end, I was like, okay, that, well, that makes sense, I can understand now if- I mean, there's all that flipping dumb plot hole stuff in association with like, you know, with stuff not really being affected by Jerry changes in the past. Like, but the future being pretty convenient. But like, what are we doing here? Like, after that, it's just like a teleport of street back. I think it is like a time loop and you've got to like, I don't know, maybe you have to like kill yourself or something to end it. I don't know. But so far it's looking pretty hopeless. I mean, so far, I mean, we're not even doing anything here. We're just kind of like, Max. ha ha ha. I mean, yeah, we're not really doing anything here apart from like, Whoa, 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 where are we? Here we go. We're just kind of like wandering around. You need to get high like Rachel. Want some drugs? Yeah, sure, thanks for offering. Let's creep behind him. Cause yeah, there's a lighthouse right there. You are at the top of my shit list now, Max. What's the significance of taking these bottles? Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Maybe the game developers also knew just how dumb a task that fucking bottle collection was. There's the bench from uh, from the lighthouse. Sit on this as well. Might as well. 
We got nothing else to flip and do at this rate. Let's walk and pass. Oh, there's the snow. What the? What? what? Okay, uh, yeah, we're definitely in the left subconscious mind, but yeah. Hey, I've I've read enough Freud to know how flipping ridiculous this, the unconscious mind is. Made in Taiwan. <laughs> oh, you're, oh my gosh, you're in a, what? Okay, and you're in a snow globe. I feel like I'm playing like a, one of those like games that you play on drugs. Like one of those games where like nothing makes any sense. Oh my gosh, it's spoiler alert, it's similar to like Interstellar now. What the heck? Banishing of an ant Interstellar, I'm getting like mixed vibes. Oh, you don't even exist in this world. Look, you're not even here. You're merely a figure of a snow globe. Oh, I guess we do exist because you just called us Max. No, don't die again. How many times have we seen you die so far? So, uh... But where am I? This guy was, like, the best character, though. Oh, he won't find the keys. You mean your college and... Whoa, jeez, hello. That was scary. No! You're burning the photo again. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar. Oh, you burn. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Are you burning the photo in the? Wait, is this even the? Yeah, this is a fireplace. You put snow globes on fireplaces, right? William. Hey, Max. Would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind me that you let me die. <laughs> no problem. Okay, can we look any more? Pompadour. This is pretty funny. Nathan, hey, I love your photo shoot. Yes, if you guys want to hang out and get high, yeah, sure. Uh, Rachel, I just wanted to just I've seen you soon, real soon. Oh, okay, cool. Pompadour, what the flip? Uh, good evening. Oh my gosh, well, actually, to be fair, this looks like a legitimate text that would come from this guy. I'm not even surprised. Okay, can we get some like answers? No, no, we can't. We're we're still stuck. Will this nightmare go on? How many times do we have to kill Jefferson? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. What the flip? I'm really you confused. The same qualities that I loved in it's like they're throwing every single like time loop theory all in one flip and soup bowl and like scooping it out. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up. Does she? Hi, I'm over here. <laughs> I'm so over her hipster bullshit. To be fair, so am I. I think Aren't we all? And you're not a hipster? You serious? Max. You're blue hair and you're flipping prove it. dumb tattoos. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. Who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Me. <laughs> you should have seen her make I'm a move flipping on glad. Hella lame. Max, no, you hella loved it. You don't ask for you. it. Flipping hella Wait. liar. Oh, actually, do me for if it's not Max, I don't care. God damn, Fair enough. you're a sexy bitch. <laughs> what is this? Out with Max, huh? Boredom. This looks like flipping yes, like excerpts from like a, a sitcom. I hear that. The Amazing you Adventures of Chloe, Jefferson, Nathan, and Warren. Hooray! Oh shit! Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch, or take a selfie. There is that flipping Tiny Tina Venom. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. What the flip? Damn, Victoria. <laughs> what the heck? Not a I feel like somebody is like I feel like I'm as you see a plum bob on top of my head and like we're playing The Sims. Somebody's just like Megan this girl do everything. We who with three different people. Ooh. Can we stay in this universe? Holy crap. Okay. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Okay, we get it. Her subconscious is messed up. You're still alive. Life is strange. I was waiting for the name drop. Back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Now what? What bathroom is this? I don't even remember. Two wheels? Keypad. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Uh. So, now what? Use. Oh, oh, great. I don't flip a no. What? Great. 
numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? That's a great question, and I don't exactly want to sit around and do them all. The heck? What? 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 Oh my gosh, this is awful. There's a guy. There was a Doctor Who villain that had a similar thing. All right, let's do the first one I see. I, I will warn you though, I will not let you guys sit here and watch me go through this crap in that case. What was it again? 6521. I'm not even flipping press, are you serious? Oh my gosh, alright, 6, 5, 2, 1. No, of course. I don't flipping know. Could be any of these. Right, two, five, one, five. I bet it's like none of these, and it's like the game's just trolling you. Ugh. So why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? That's a good question, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. One, one, three, oh. Dear me. Okay, sorry. I, I just kind of skipped a little bit forward there because I was trying out different numbers, but finally. I don't even remember the number flip. One, one, three, oh. Okay. Or zero, three, one, one. Zero, three, one, one. Let's try that first. Zero, three, one, one. I pr how many times am I gonna flip and press back? Yay. Well, that was annoying. You know, to be right, but I probably could have got that. I give this game too much flack for that. That actually is a pretty easy enough puzzle to solve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game. Don't kill us, Max. What? I guess I'll never dance again, Max. What? Right. Are we still in the subconscious? Holy crap. Like I know happy just bad. being your friend. I always thought breaker, breaker. What the flippin' heck? Okay, yeah. Hey, look, it's me. Who? Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of You know this reminds me of? This reminds me of, if any of you have ever seen Bojack Horseman, the Netflix series, there's an episode in that that's very similar to this in nature. Uh, that's what it reminds me of, Flip. I, was, I had it in my mind for a while, but there you go. There's a little, there's a little fucking tidbit for you. I didn't ask to rewind time. Yeah. Stop playing innocent. You've left a trail of death behind you. Have I? I haven't. You even let that Singular. Stalker Madsen kill Jefferson. That's well, sick. Jefferson, what he was doing initially was Way sick, so yeah. More blooded killer than him or Nathan. I'm a survivor. No, I'm a survivor. I don't have any experience in time travel or stopping psychopaths like Jefferson. Yeah, so what's the point in all this? I did what I had to. Oh, the jury will love to hear about your mad time travel skills. Well, I, I could prove it to them. I proved it to Chloe for that for the dumb memory me. challenge. You're a goddamn hypocrite. And then just I'll become a celebrity, a finally. Cost. I'll actually become a that superhero. Not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> a... What about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, like what? let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk But the world was going to end anyway, so like, what does it matter? She's worth all that. It, do it doesn't matter. We all are. We all are. This it's about, about humanity survi- well, not humanity, but it's about Arcadia Bay surviving this flippin' gosh, tornado. It's not about so flippin' this crap, it's not about all this Max. rambling. Oh my gosh, why would you change time for one person, but like, everyone's gonna Chloe die anyway. So, what? Me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. I've heard that, free, I've heard that condition quite a bit. Homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scared like anymore. It? I think, I think she might have to die to let this continue. Than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings? Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious to tell that this You're is like, you know, the optimist versus the pessimist in her mind. So stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. I'm embarrassed to be the same person. Someday Chloe will destroy. Speaking of. Oh, hell, speak of the devil. I mean, I call it twice. Twice I said speak of the devil or speaking of this time, but close enough. Let's talk about your superpowers. Not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. Uh, that's a creepy shot. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Seems like I've been statue. Like I've had Madame Tussauds. 
Fasten your seatbelt. So we're still in the subconscious? Holy crap. This one heck of a... This one heck of a weird journey. Uh, it is like about himself, isn't it? All these are clay models? This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Cheers. Yes, the song fucking rules. She's smoking. Hippie, come on. I don't mean smoking as in, is she smoking out, a joint, but is she lit is her body hey, literally smoking? Off, turn it off. You need you were here today, Max. You saved yep, me. there's all the flippin' I'm still stuff. tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like Are well, we wearing the same stuff we did? Oh, this is something new, this I think. Is destiny. I hope we can find this is so f this is like my mind is like going through fucking crazy exercise here. I need to wait until the very end until I actually get my full thoughts. Whenever that's happening, jeez. That is never ending. I don't know what, what other stuff they're gonna add in. You can rewind time, Max. Oh, that for the that's dumb stuff. Insane. I don't believe you unless you predict everything Welcome immediately. I'm away from hell. Is this all the stuff in the previous episodes? It suits you. You saved me again. Hell, I saved my life. Yep, there you go. I don't know why the heck she was trapped underneath the tree. And this is basically just me bringing up all the flipping stuff I find kind of annoying with these episodes. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert grown here. Okay, good. Thank heavens I didn't even do it. Max, you better come check out these files. Yep. All that stuff. So why are we going through all this again? Oh, hello. There's the swimming again. Otter in my water. Let's call it a draw. Call it a draw. Running away from the. All right, okay, I'm just gonna walk past most of these. Photo, photo hog. Uh -huh. Kissing her. These are like all the decisions that we made. Well, that's one at least. I don't think they really show them. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the truck. I was about to say, where the heck was that taken? There's some breaking. <laughs> that was a ridiculous moment doing that stuff. I was really confused. There's the alternate beach. Flippin there, he, I'm assuming we hear us trying to kill her, even when flipping we didn't even need to because we just went back into the current day. That was really weird. There's us solving the murder, or pretty much. There's us finding out about the murder. All those are Flipping, like, there's Rachel finding out to be dead. I don't actually see this whole entire time. What does that even replicate down there? It's like blue fabric. I don't really see, like, a body or anything. Maybe it's like a body bag or whatever. I don't know. Oh, and then we're back here. Finally. So now what? Is this, was this, like, was this, like, one massive, like, flipping... Was this, like, one massive, like, you know, final thought? You know the way people always say their life flashes before their eyes before they die? She must have had a pretty boring life if, like, the only stuff that she can think of is, like, stuff that happened in the past, like, week. What about the other 18 Max, years that you lived? Max, can you hear me? Did you, like, never go to Florida? Was that not memorable enough for you? I, I'm so, passed out. Oh, so the time loop stuff didn't Don't actually happen? That, that was all just, like, flipping mental <sighs> crap? But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Well, the top of the lighthouse is gone, like, in the first episode. So yeah, again, is anyone going to solve this? Is this unsolvable? Are we going to die anyway? This is my storm. I oh yo, I'm calling it. I'm telling you, I bet you she has to kill herself. And then everyone will be safe. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of... Well, it kind of came to you randomly. It's not as if you were sitting there like it was one of those movies where it's like, gee, I wish I could rewind time and then you did. Like, you know, if I went to bed and, like, okay. the, the wish you fairy came that night. You didn't ask for yeah, it. there you go. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. Well, you don't have to kill everyone for it. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. Time Warrior. And you're amazing. So now what? Uh... Max, this is the only way. Oh, you got him. Oh, it's the other way we're gonna let like, Chloe die like instead. I took shot a thousand years ago. So if Chloe died, that's, is, that, is that gonna stop the storm though? That means you can't. You wait, hold on. Is this. Uh, I'll, I'll save my thoughts until the end. To change everything, I wanna see right where this. I wanna see what they picture. explain here and what they like actually deal with. All that would take is for me to. To get shot by a madman. Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. 
You are all that matters to so what are you gonna do? Oh, is this the final decision? You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I bet you this is the last decision. So you can go back in time and like kill Chloe home. and then you know stop the entire fucking town from bl from blowing up. Or you can so or you can let her live and kill everyone. people in Arcadia Bay who should live way more than Bay, this is the last decision so I won't trade you you're not trading me maybe you've just been delaying my real death oh she's always destined to die kind of like Rachel look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me I know I've been selfish but for once I think I should accept my fate sheesh our fate, Chloe. Well, if there's no other choice. Came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You had a hell of a good time. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done But she's not going to remember any of that, though. She's going to, like, flip and she's not even going to... Oh, flip. That's so, it's all that bittersweet. You kill her, but she won't even remember all that stuff. Though, we're real to us. To her, sorry. To Max. He's going to mess her up, by the way. That's right, the player has to. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Oh, here we go, I'm telling it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm assuming this is something that you can't exactly rewind time to stop. Well, here's the thing, alright? I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> I like, you know, saving everyone. So, I mean, if it has to happen, you're still gonna have the memories. Like, hmm. Arcadia Bay is corrupt, though. Uh, tsh, oh, I don't know. This is a pretty tough one. Um, kill everyone. I mean, obviously, the logical thing is to sacrifice her, because one life against the lives of hundreds of thousands of others, you know, <laughs> it's it's kind of that's basic logic that you know you take one life over the life of like thousands of other people. But I guess if you're the only one making the choice. Would you rather live in a better flipping place like Arcadia Bay? I mean, here's the thing, if you sacrifice Arcadia Bay, you're gonna die. So either die with your friend or live, you know, or live life in a town that you don't really like, I guess, and do your photography stuff. What I'm trying to think though is that, hold on, wait a minute, if you sacrifice Arcadia, or if you sacrifice Chloe, the flipping Jefferson stuff still happens, right? Jefferson still flipping kidnapped Rachel Amber and stuff. So we're gonna have to do all that again. Screw it, I don't wanna flipping do all that again. Oh, flip, no, wait. Yeah, because then Jefferson's still doing all of his mad stuff. He's still flipping, sitting there, drugging people. And we're hardly going to stop. Like, if we don't have time... Tra like, say if this, say if this does a flipping a retcon and removes all of our time-traveling abilities, there's no way we can stop him. Nobody's going to believe us. You know what? Screw Arcadia Bay. Flippin' get out of here, all right? Let's just b kill everyone. Why not? I do feel like I'm playing The Sims. Just flipping lock everyone in a room with, like, one stove, and that's it. Ah, Out of there. Get out of here, Jefferson. Fucking fraud. I literally did this just because, like, it'd be too much effort to try and, like, go back and try and, like, accuse everyone. I'd rather just, you know, because I'm a lazy guy. I'd rather just, you know. I'd rather just sit here and die and have a good view. With some hipster music in the background, of course. It's only fitting. I'm assuming that's it. That's the final choice. I would be curious to see how the final, how the other choice does. You know, what the other choice is, and like what happens in it. Because yeah, like the problem is, you would have to re like, all the Jefferson stuff is still happening in that universe. It doesn't matter if Chloe dies. If Chloe dies, the end of the world doesn't happen. But all that corruption still does. You know, people are still gonna die. I mean, that is if you know this, I'm obeying this game's logic at this at this point, you know. Of course, it's a touching moment, you know. The two characters embracing before death. There you go. Not a single tear though. It's not. It's not tear worthy though. Yep. There you go. 
R.I.P. everyone. <laughs> I was doing a gift of an R.I.P. counter in the start of this play, in this pre-played episode, and like, now it's like literally R.I.P. the entire population of Arcadia Bay. Jeesh. And also, Warren's now dead. Which is, to be honest, that's probably the best outcome, right? Warren dying? There's all the deer. Or doe, even. I don't know what they're called. Deer, doe. What's the difference? Wildlife sure isn't gonna fucking flourish here. Wait, what? Was that their truck? Did you see that? Yeah, look at that. Wait a minute, wait. They're still alive? They survived? The the hill... The hill wasn't destroyed. With all the trees and the fucking lighthouse that landed on Max in the first episode, they didn't die. I thought they were gonna die together, wait a minute. Oh, wait, this is weird. So they just sat there and watched their flippin' Chloe's mum and dad die. I mean, I don't know if David's dead, he's flippin' he was in that bunker. Wait a minute, I th oh my gosh, uh, I've been flippin' swerved. I was swerved. I, okay, I'm really confused. Okay, no, I'm not confused, but I'm really concerned. I thought it was like everyone dies. Everyone dies, or you know, Max lives in you know the stupid dumb town, flipping Warren and all that crap. I'm assuming that's how it ends. Final episode. Yeah, there you go, polarized. That's it. That's it. Life is Strange just finished completely. Boy, do I have some thoughts on this game. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, right. So, I'm pretty sure that entire subconscious segment or phase, or whatever you want to call it, was all basically trying to let you as the player, like giving you a summary of everything that's been happening for that final decision. The final decision of like, you know, will, of like, you know, will, will you save everyone or will you kill everyone? You know, you know, save everyone but kill Chloe or save Chloe and kill everyone. It was all leading up to that and that, I, I, I don't, I get that. I understand, you know, all that stuff. Um. It went through a lot of flipping crazy time loop nonsense. The thing is though, okay, now that's happened, does Max still have her time travel powers? I think, didn't Warren say something about how like, the storm and the powers are, are one of the same? So if the storm left, then the, the, the powers would have left as well? I guess that's what's happened. Um, as much as I would like to have reacted to the Chloe death uh, ending, I might as well just let this people play roll out with the natural ending that we had. I'd rather... And if I was playing through this game again a second time, which I might do, because I'm considering making like a final like afterthoughts video on this. I mean, I do these like end credit uh, review reviews, if you want to call them that. They're not really reviews, it's just my like immediate thoughts. But like I might make a final big video and talk about, you know, my overall thoughts on the game. Play it, play through it a second time and see like, see if I miss some stuff, see if some of the, the issues I had with it are maybe resolved if I play through it again. Maybe there's some stuff I missed. From clearly as I'm doing a P plays and I'm talking over it and I'm, and I'm not giving my 100%, you know, undying attention or undivine attention, sorry, to this game. Maybe I'm missing out some stuff there. Maybe, you know, people that are watching this might be face palming because they're like, oh my gosh, Pete, you suck. How did you not understand that the storm represented so and so or whatever crap? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much um, it for episode 5. That's it for the entire Life is Strange saga, I guess. Um, I guess I'll get some quick things out of the way. Uh, this episode again was really tugging at the heartstrings, you know, it was really from throwing in, you know, oh my gosh, like especially that final monologue by Chloe, obviously, lets players around the world a weeping at that, at that uh, end stuff. I personally, I'm not as, I wasn't as connected to the to the, the, the characters and the setting and stuff in this game as other people are, because I know a lot, I know a lot of people who play this game, like, adore it, and they're saying that this is like, the best game of the year and all that stuff. Personally, for me, is it a good game? Yeah, I, I think it is a really good game, it is. Is it a great game? I would even stretch out and say, yeah, I think it's a great game, but is it like an amazing, you know, experience? For me, I think there was, I was, I had too many questions during the course of the game, and a few stuff that they tried to do to have a lot of impact didn't really pay off. Like, they were saying stuff about like, oh, will you tell this guy, will you tell David that Chloe is dead? 
well then you, you think about those choices and you're like okay well I could say that but like it doesn't matter because they're all dead anyway in this ending and like even if you did the other ending it's not as if they're going to remember so that's why I feel like the choices that they had like you know the big oh what are you going to do doesn't actually matter much when you have the time traveling ability and when you know that some realities or the, or the alternative reality ability is a better way to put it because whenever that stuff happens it just kind of retcons all of your decisions like, like, a perfect example, episode four, you, you were told, oh, you can kill Chloe in her flipping, while she's, like, paralyzed. It doesn't matter what you did, because you just rewind time and you never visited that universe again. So, what was the point of that? I mean, I understood that the, the situation, maybe the game was trying to make some social comments or whatever. But in general, in terms of, like, wanting to make your choices matter, in the core reality, I think, yeah, it did it pretty well. Like, you know, the whole Kate stuff, the Kate stuff was very well, the Frank stuff was really good. But, like, in terms of, like, making big choices that will affect the end game and will affect, you know, the... I mean, it affects, you know, episode by episode, but in the overall... If you if you were to look at this game from a, from episode 1 till 5, I'd honestly say that not a lot of the choices that you make, you know, mean that much when the, the alternative is that it goes down two different ways, if you know what I mean. Either everyone dies and, you know, the choices that you, ma that you made still matter in the current reality, which was, you know... Saving Kate, well, saving Kate, just have her die again, but that's pretty mean. <laughs> I just realized that Kate died twice now, Flip, that's awful. Um, you know, what other choices that would have happened? Like, you know, kissing, kissing Chloe, that kind of stuff still stands, you know, that kind of stuff still happened. But if you were to do the other ending, none of that stuff would really matter anymore, but it would only, it would only be in Max's mind that all that stuff happened, if you know what I mean. I mean, all the choices happened in her mind, but... Yeah, that's just one of the issues I had in terms of, like, making the choices matter. And that's why I wasn't as really invested in, oh my gosh, what choice do I make? Except for the end, because that pretty much determined the ending of the game that you were going to get. Apart from that, most of the other choices were kind of like, do they really matter much in the overall arc, you know? Uh, okay, I, I've, I've hammered that point home enough. So let me talk about some of the stuff I really did enjoy about this game in general. I think the characters were pretty well fleshed out. I'll say what you will about the hipster dialogue. I think if you're a fan of that universe, I think you'll get into it. Like if you're a fan of that kind of dialogue, like if you're if you're a, if you're a redditor or if you're you know someone that browses the internet quite a lot and understands that kind of internet lingo, I think you're gonna really like this universe. And personally, I do like that kind of stuff. And I'm almost getting a nosebleed now. Flipping heck, you know, game imitating uh, imitating life imitating art. Anyway, um. Yeah, like, uh, say what you will about all that stuff. I personally enjoyed it quite a bit. I mean, I know we made fun of it quite a little, quite a bit, especially in the first two episodes where I was, like, hammering at it. But this episode showed a thorough improvement in terms of sounding a bit more, I don't know, realistic. Maybe that's because there was less Chloe in this episode, I don't know. But, like, I, I actually kind of enjoyed the world that they set up. Like, it was enjoyable to to experience and to observe, you know? Uh, the characters, I think, Chloe was a, I think Chloe was a very well-fleshed out character and well-developed. Max was pretty, Max had her moral street and all that there. A few of the characters, you know, swerved in other ways. Some of them I could understand, but other ones I don't. You know, like, the, the Nathan angle I really didn't get. The Victoria angle I really didn't get. All, all that stuff, you know, I really didn't understand. I, I, I think that their, their explanation as to why they behaved like that was kind of, like, thrown in there. And I just kind of thought, uh... That could have been developed a bit more, or they could have been true to their actual character and said, okay, I'm like this and that's the way I am. As instead of, you know, Victoria being like, oh, I'm like that because I want people to like me, which is understandable, that's not too bad. But Nathan's whole, I did that just so that, you know, a teacher could like me. That doesn't explain bringing guns into school and getting therapy and talking to people condescendingly. I'm not going to start feeling bad for that guy because he did that stuff. It just makes me laugh at everything he does because it's so hilariously unrealistic and stupid. I mean, I'm not even talking, like, unrealistic to the point of, oh, hipster dialogue, but unrealistic to the point where even my, you know, hipster dialogue radar will let that fly, if you know what I mean. Oh, there you go. Final message. Thank you for your amazing support, art, gift, passion, and crazy theories. It's been a crazy honor to have you dwelling in Arcadia Bay with us. There you go. Oh, jeez. Fucking burn my eyes. You decided to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. Okay, what was the most? Oh, jeez, this is close, but a lot of people decided it. Chloe, Chloe had to go. What are my friends does? What do what my friends do? No one. I have no friends, apparently. Do we get a been a teaser? No, we just get this. So there you go. There's the final few images. So there you go. Sheesh. All right, well, th those are those are like my abridged thoughts on the game. If you can believe it, I could probably flesh that out a bit more if I really wanted to. But uh, I'll probably save that for a later video. Uh, I'll probably play through the game again to see if all these queries I had are answered in some of the alternative walkthroughs that you can do of this game. But that is it. For Pete Plays Life is Strange, the entirety. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm getting it up pretty early. Like This is like the earliest I've probably ever done a game close to release. Unless you're talking maybe Portal 2 way back when. But like, 
but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I actually, I as much as I gave a crap in the earlier segments, I actually enjoyed. I enjoyed playing it. You know, it was fun. I guess. See if my I do have some bigger thoughts on the game, but in general, yeah, I had a, yeah, I had a good time enjoying it. It was it was entertaining. It was a fun game. The characters were interesting. You know, most of them at least were. You know, the plot. I I forgot to mention the plot. It was very good. I mean, in ter- very good in terms of it intrigued me a lot. In terms of looking at it a bit closer, I don't really know yet. But in terms of like you know getting my interest. I was, I was looking forward to episode, in the end of episode, episode 4, I said I'm looking forward to episode 5, so I did that job correctly. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Pete Plays um, Life is Strange, hope you guys enjoyed it. I might make one more video on this and give my final, you know, well flesh out thoughts, not my immediate ramblings after an episode. Uh, but yeah, so my name is Pete Dog. hope you guys enjoyed this Pete Plays, and I will see you for, for uh, another Pete Plays whenever that might happen, so see you guys then.